Today I'm playing America's newest golf course, Cabo Citrus Farm. So can I break the course record? Oh wait, there isn't one. So of course I can. I genuinely don't know what to do here. Oh, that's so good. I mean, it's literally so new. There's still diggers here. It's quite bizarre because we just walked from basically a construction site <laughs> where they're building all the new residential properties and where the range is onto a brand new golf course. Pretty cool, isn't it? Right, I'm actually playing off the front tees for a change because we're going to try and shoot a decent score. So uh, let's see how we get on. I'm, fe I'm feeling the wide fairways. Hopefully that and the new driver is going to help me out today. I've gone for 10k. Ping. G430 Max. 10k. Haven't gamed a ping driver for ages. Let's see how we get on. Well, looks like it might land on grass. Quite deceptive because there's so many like undulations. You're not really sure where your ball's going to end up, but <laughs> we're on the fairway. <laughs> one hole, one fairway. Could be a good driver choice. 100% record so far. Probably won't stay that way. 128.4 yards apparently, as if I'm that accurate. <laughs> Straight at what looks like a halfway house, which is quite early for the first hole, but I don't know I'd take a hot chocolate right now. It's a lot colder than I thought it was going to be. I'm just going to hit a little nine because it's cold and it is the first hole. Oh, I forgot there's a little crosswind. That was very, very average. <laughs> but it is on the green. So there is that. I'm literally so far away. <laughs> and this looks sloppy. Oh, this is not optimal. Joey, you just want like a nice steady first hole. Like green and red, like easy two put. Let's see how I get on with this. Please break as much as you look like you're gonna. I actually didn't read it too bad, but that was slow. And I've not got it there. I've left myself a curl in like 12 foot. <laughs> but I'm quite concerned about how much this could break. Given the first putt feels like <laughs> a lot. Please go. <sighs> it's just not how you want to start your round, is it? I'm going to have that one for tapping for a par, not for a bogey. Okay, hole two, another par four, 385 yards. <laughs> Definitely a bit longer this time, so I need to get my acting to gear, hit the ball a bit closer there and actually get my putts to that. I'm like concerned that that like, cross bunk is going to come into play and it actually somehow is quite narrow because of that. So let's just keep it a bit more up the right, I think. Oh, perfect. The 100% fairway record stays intact. How long will it last is the question. I've still got 117, which is pretty brutal. That's uphill and like straight into like an into left to right wind. Might be time to hit my new hybrid. How exciting. Look at the head cover game as well. It's a bit too much Augusta going on here. That's <laughs> not, I didn't think about that when I prepped it out. To be honest, I thought I was going to be in a t-shirt. PXG Black Ops 3 Hybrid. Just remember there's wind, the slope. It's not winter, I'm not on a driving range flat mat anymore. Well, it's going in the right direction. I'm just not sure it's far enough. Kind of looks all right. <laughs> we'll get up there and see. Listen, I know the ball is. Can you explain to me why I've just hit it closer with a 3 Hybrid than it did with a 9 iron? That would be great. And not even like marginally. Like... <laughs> Quite significantly. This is downhill, so surely I can't leave it that far short. Like, if we're doing the opposite extreme now, I'm just like hit it 10 foot past. <laughs> it's a little bit straighter too, which is nice. Good pace, misread it a bit. Moved a lot more than I thought it would. A par. Settle the ship. <laughs> and then see what we've got next. I feel like every hole is going to be like interesting. Like even though some of the holes are wide, there's lots of stuff going on. I feel like I need to concentrate. <laughs> okay, we've got 152 slightly downhill. Given it's cold and how far short I was on the first, I'm going to hit a seven iron. And hopefully that'll be all right. I mean, the line's quite good if it's got legs. Mm, little skinny, a tad short, but I'll take it. Middle of the green, probably like 30 feet. These greens are literally crazy. There's so many like random slopes that I'm glad I'm not like the same distance up the other side. Another little tap in would be nice. 
go. Not bad. We just really love these tappings. Par five, 417 yards. I'm hoping it's like an opportunity to get that shot back from the first. And it looks so wide, but then it looks so <laughs> narrow, like where I need to pitch driver because of all the wasteland. So yeah, we get on with this. This is actually a split fairway, so you can go each way. But I'm not really convinced they're right. There's enough distance from here, so. It's gonna go down the main route and up the left. God, I'm a fairway machine today. I might be staying in the back. 162, uphill. Got to be playing like 172. What you really don't want in this instance is it. Uphill when you've got to carry bunkers is that you need to hit a four iron. Oh yeah, I need to hit a four iron. Excellent. If I bail out left, then I don't like have to go over the bunker as well. Doesn't look like a particularly tasty bunker shot, to be honest. Well, I hit it where I wanted to. Oh. That's actually pretty good to be honest. On in two, if we could just two putt, then <laughs> we'll be back to level par. Oh, I was really pleased with that shot. I'm less pleased with the putt now I analyse it. <laughs> Cause it's like severely downhill cross slope. So let's see how we get on. Really don't want to put it into that bunker over there. I was so scared of that. <laughs> For God's sake. Right, 15 foot. Is this still makeable? Put a good stroke on it. Go, 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 go. Ah, oh, stop doing that. Ah, oh, what a disappointing par. I hit two good shots, such good shots as well. Ball striking was, putting was. Question is, do we go left or right? I think left. I think left is the best bet. Short par four. Strategic advantage of that. Oh, it's left. It's pretty well struck though. I think I'm over the tree. I think I might be all right. Oh, there's a digger driving suspiciously near where I've just hit. <laughs> if that's plugged, can I have really driven over by a tractor? I'm not sure that's in the rules of golf. 45 yards, but I'm really not sure what the play is here. Like. Do I play it like a bunker shot? Do I try and nip it off it? I think I'm gonna play it like a bunker shot. Isn't 50 yard bunker shot meant to be like literally the hardest shot in golf? <laughs> Great. At least this isn't a bunker so I can have a practice swing. It came out quite fast, but it was spinny. I think that's not bad. I'll take that from there to be honest. You know what, I'm absolutely buzzing. Nine foot from 50 yard bunker shot. There's some movement on this though, so needs a bit of concentration. Oh, I knew it was gonna move too. My lots of putts is continuing <laughs> from 2023. I was really hoping that was something I'd left in last year. Right, another par five, so we have a chance. So I'll get over these assortment of bunkers in the fairway first. So it is 460, so like, 50 hours longer than the last one, which was a driver and a four ride. So maybe this is going to be an actual three shotter. <laughs> I mean, it's over the bunkers and it's pitched on grass, which definitely wasn't the most optimal shot. Definitely made it a three shotter anyway. This is my three woods first ever shot on the course. <laughs> maybe not optimal conditions. But it's 200 to fly all the sand and get to the grass. So I'm like, might as well just go for it. Surely at least it'll like run up there. There isn't really anything else up there. This is my ball. Oh, that's so good. I thought I could actually get there. It was chasing, it was trying. That might have made front edge. That was one of those times where I made a bit of a stupid club decision, but I actually pulled it off, so it was fine. Other times I would have like topped it two for in front of me, I would have like hit that tree and come back at me, but you know, it didn't happen, so it's fine. <laughs> I really want to put this, but I'm not sure what that bit of the front's going to do. Go. Go. Oh, pretty good. <laughs> That's why I swapped to a 54, so I had to two clubs to chip with. Maybe I need to just start chipping like my first putts. Maybe that's the answer. Right. Come on, Anna. Oh, a bird. 
Back to level four. <laughs> Back to where we started. Right, come on, we need to more of that now. Pretty funky pin position. <laughs> Literally right next to a massive mouse. Like, if you're short right at that pin, I think you're absolutely dead. So, <laughs> let's do that. 115. I've gone up to my pitching wedge, which is my 125 club. So, hopefully, that's all right. I've been to the draft. I feel like I need to miss this left. Oh, it's going to be a night. <laughs> Go. Oh. That was nowhere near enough club. Shook it good too and it was dead on line, but needed way more club. Oops. I genuinely don't know what to do here. None of my options feel good. I'm going to put it about up here, just like that. <laughs> oh no, I give back my birdie. <laughs> no way have I left that at the top of the hill. That was so close to being good. <laughs> now that putt's absolutely dead. One of those putts were like it should move because of the slope, but then it's also so downhill. <laughs> it's like, oh, speed control is important here. It's also quite hard because there's lots of slope, but the greens are fairly new, so they're not actually quite as quick as they look. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> Can I do one vlog without making a double? Is it possible? If you're enjoying watching the trials and tribulations of this round, there's usually plenty more vlogs to come on the channel. So make sure you like and subscribe and then you'll get hopefully a little notification when it comes up and it just helps the channel grow too. Well, that hole was suitably stupid. So let's just try and be a little more sensible here. 360 par four. The pin's somewhere over that hill, I'm not entirely sure. But I think we need to like be just right at that bunker in the middle of it. Yeah, basically there. I think that's pretty good. We're back on fairways and greens, hopefully. There's like lots of questions I have here, like why am I pitching off a down slope? Why is the green <laughs> look so small? Why is the pin like basically in a bunker? I've got 81 yards. Nothing about it feels good. Like, do I hit hard 58? Do I hit a little 54? I don't really want to hit a little 54 with all the sand long. Don't really want to leave it short of the green again after the last. It's downwind. Really like a 58 should get to the front edge at least. Oh God, that didn't feel good. That would have been a sin. Let's please take a diver. Oh, go. Oh, we've made it, we've made it, we've made it. We've made it. It's all good. I feel a little bit better now. Sold the ship slightly. Right, about 15 feet uphill, bit left to right. Can we get a bit of redemption here? Oh, hit it, you idiot. <sighs> I mean, at least I'm consistent. Not quite the kind of consistency I was envisaging when I set off. Right, ninth hole, 350 yards, uphill, left to right. You can kind of see all the new properties they're building up the top there in the background. Can we finish this nine out strong? Okay, make the back line a little bit easier. <laughs> But now a serious left to right wind here. Please stay there. I think that's over the bunkers. Hopefully it's in prime position. 100 yards. Fast right between clubs. Like I don't know if a 54 gets there. And it's uphill and the wind's hurting. I think I'm gonna hit like a little, a little 48. Try and be sensible. I'm also just terrified of short side of myself again. <laughs> Wind. That still only made the front edge. It's a pretty good shot though. I thought the wind was gonna move it a lot more in the air, but the slope brought it back into the pin anyway. Uphill putt for birdie. <laughs> right. I say I kinda of get put to the hole, but I also don't wanna just like ram it miles past. Can I just have like a nice easy two foot? Jesus. It moved a lot more than I thought. Good. 
to for nine some race, but I missed one green, one fairway, and three over. So annoying when you like, actually play pretty good and then just mess around around the greens. Like I find it so frustrating. Anyway, new nine, another incredible looking par three. How good do all these holes look? Like I'm actually really enjoying the layout. Very different style to what we play in the UK. The greens are kind of crazy. And some of the group have definitely found out when they've missed the wrong side of it, and they are massive. I do like the fact there's no roof. I can deal with the waist, <laughs> at least I can like hit my ball out of that. <laughs> 150. Bit into the wind, I've gone up to a six. Oh, it's skinny. And it's fine, but it's not the best. Oh, this can be a long putt. This is actually quite close. It looked miles away from the tee, but probably pretty good six sign proximity, actually. I take everything back. Weird putt, it's going to go like up and then down again. <laughs> So pace control could be interesting. Could just like not leave it four foot short. Would be nice. Not too bad. What? <laughs> can I, can I please concentrate on this putt? I can't miss another two footer. God, I'm so nervous about that after the last hole. Two put, par, back on track. Let's go make some birdies. <laughs> hole 11, 277 par four, which sounds quite good, but it is uphill straight into the wind and it's starting <laughs> to drop cold. I hope I can get this somewhere where I leave myself like a nice simple pitching. <laughs> Bit healy, but it's still on the fairway. Hard to know what's up there, but. I think it's all right. 85, but I reckon it's playing closer to like 95. Going up to my 54. All the pins are so deceiving. Like the way they put them on the slopes, they look like they're literally about to fall off the green. It's quite intimidating. I mean, it's on the green, but it's pretty short. I'm literally not sure I could have missed this in the worst place. There's such a big like side slope into the pin. I'm gonna have to aim so far right and just hope it takes the slope at like the speed I think it is. I actually don't think that was terrible to be honest. It's still gone quite considerably far past. That was a really good putt as well, I don't understand. First, I'm not really sure I should be hitting driver, but the buggy's miles away, so I'm not going back to stop. So let's just try and avoid all these bunkers, basically. I think I've just hit it in the middle of the bunkers. Oh well, at least it's playable. 146. It just it looks a long way for a 7-iron, doesn't it? Straight up the hill crosswind. We're going with the strategy of whacking a seven iron. We'll see where that gets us. The pin does look quite a long way back. Well, it's a nice strike. And it looked all over it, to be honest. <laughs> so let's hope it was. The downhill nature is giving me a bit of like the heebie-jeebies after that last fast put I had. She holds a putt. <laughs> Finally, it is possible. <laughs> I can't a two putt from 25 foot for a birdie, but I can get up and down with a seven iron. So that's good. Oh uh, yeah, we're back to three over. <laughs> I don't even know how three over, it's actually stupid. Cause I'm actually playing pretty well. Another 355, par four. I've basically got to fly it straight over all this rubbish in front. And then I think it opens up. It's a bit right. <laughs> I think we're definitely on sand this time. <laughs> this is the widest railway ever, so. Oh well, simply. Don't feel too great about the size of this hill in front of me. Like, please don't thin it. That's what I'm thinking. 140, I've got eight iron. The front of this green looks crazy, so I really need to get over that. It looks pretty good, tad left. I'm too short to know where that's going. <laughs> Hopefully it's all right. All right, uphill left to right. It's one of those weird ones where it kind of feels like the more left you go, the more it might move because there's this like weird little ridge. I would be very happy with the two put here, so like just to tap in would be nice. 
Oh. Absolutely rammed it. Where's that fast pace come from? <laughs> Nothing about this leave is optimal. Oh my god. I don't feel like I'm hitting terrible putt. Well, that was so marginal. Right, par five. <laughs> I really need to get something out of this at some point if we're going to try get this scorecard looking better. Okay, drive in the fairway. Part one of the whole complete. Can we finish out 187 yards? Trusty hybrids back out. I say that as if I've used it once and I haven't just hit one shot with it. Oh my god. I mean, it's a very safe bailout. Good strike though, I think it's just over the back. Maybe it's a good thing, maybe I should chip it, eliminate <laughs> any long putts. I am chipping here purely to try to take another three part off the cards. <laughs> I kind of just gripped a little bit too much on the first bounce that I wanted to. But it's alright. Maybe it's a bit better that it's not one of those really short ones. It'd be really nice if I could hold this one. <laughs> Feels like needed at this point, to be honest. Oh. I just didn't move. I thought I was going to move more than that. Do I trust myself to tap anything in at this point? Oh look, I hit another par 5 and 2 and what for the par. <laughs> I thought this was a par 3 but it turns out it's par 4 so I'm feeling a lot better about it now. 200 yards, I've got 3 wood. It looks like we kind of really do need to get there because there's like a really tricky ridge up front. How good does this hole look though? It just looks pure. Right. Oh, that was rubbish. It's short right exactly where I said you don't want to go. Oh dear. This doesn't look very optimal. Everything kind of feels like you want to play it as a bunker shot, but then if you hit that slope short, it's just going to stop. Maybe the strategy is just to play long. Try and not be too cute with it. Just get on the green two pot. Just get on the green and two pot. It came out hot, but it's actually all right. God, that was rock solid. I've tried to be sensible there. Hopefully it pays off. Hello? Oh. <laughs> Why? I mean, to be fair, for the record, it's a decent two put compared to the rest of the day, but it's still annoying. <laughs> So last time I had pitching wedge into a par frame and a double. We could just like remedy that this time by like knocking it in or something. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> I mean, it's a pretty good shot, but it's not in the hole. But at this point, I'll take <laughs> another green and red. Quite happy to two put at this point. Oh, stay up. Why did that move so much? Honestly, if I'd have missed that, I'd have just sort of lost my head. <laughs> right, par five, praying I can get on in two and not three stab. Not really sure where I'm going, to be honest. I'm just going to try to hit it up that fairway, am I? Fairway hit. Also, if I hit the green two again, three put. I don't know what I'm going to do. Just try not to cry. <laughs> Go 152 to the pin. <laughs> we like par fives where we can hit seven iron for our second shot. Although, I have no idea what's up there. It could be a crazy green, so I may regret saying that in a minute. Right. <laughs> the only problem is I'm too small to see the pin. I kind of started on the pin and cut off a little bit. I think it's still on the green, I struck it good. Can we finally get something out of a par five? Let's find out in a minute. I'm not entirely sure how my ball's got here. I'm not entirely sure how I'm meant to get it near there from here. My verdict is I think we need to go low, so I'm going to try and bump it into the front of the green and let it run out. It could easily hit that hill and come back to me though, so hopefully that, hopefully that doesn't happen. 
<laughs> I'm just going to tow it down a bit because of that lie. I really don't want to fat it. Oh my god. I actually played that exactly how I wanted to for distance. I just didn't realise it was going to move 30 feet left. To be honest, I can't be mad. That could have gone worse. I still have a flattish putt now across the green. I didn't see that much break at all. <laughs> I thought that was going to pop back out there, literally. I think I'd run a meltdown. What a stupid birdie. To be fair, I feel like I was due some luck at some point. Like, surely it always has to balance out. I could do it again on the next out because... 18 pole, 3 over, which is annoying. I feel like I played better than that, but it is what it is. Honestly, not entirely sure where the green is. I think it's up by those diggers. <laughs> but I've hit drive off every tee, so we're going with that strategy. Regardless of if it's right at this point. Nice. I think. I thought that was perfect, but I think I might have run out of fairway on the ankle. But I think it'll be all right anyway. I feel like I have hit this driver pretty good today. I had one left one, but the rest is pretty consistent. I like it. 128. That's so awkward. Like a full pitch much like 125, but it's uphill, but I don't want to go long because the bunker is a bit downwind. Maybe I should just tip pitch and wedge and then give myself an uphill pull. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh, there was always a risk that could happen. It was so sandy. <laughs> Why have I done that on the 18th? This is not what I wanted right now. Now I've got to hit a nippy pitch off a probably sandy line to a back pin. 54 yards to the pin. I cannot go long. I just need to hit it like 45 and just accept that because otherwise I'm long. Hitting out of the bunker onto a down slope is just, it would be bad. It would be bad. I actually played that not bad. Although it seems to be running back <laughs> backwards, back down in green, which shows you how slow for these are. <sighs> that had to be the sensible play, didn't it? Couldn't really do anything else, is what it is. Right, at least it's uphill. It's not the one thing I've got going for me right now. Uphill, left to right, just like that one I hold on the left. Oh, he blocked it. That wasn't even a bad read, it was just a bad putt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, after how the putting had been going for the rest of the round, I was pretty nervous over that. If I'd finished with a double, I would be pretty annoyed. But yeah, overview. First round of the year, I think I struck the ball pretty good. So you can tell I live in England and I've not been doing much putting practice over winter. But yeah, how incredible was this new golf course? Once it's up and running and every, all the facilities here, it's going to be amazing. Definitely one to visit and pretty special to get out here and be one of the first people to see it.